All right, I'm going to gate A12. Uh, this is Jonah Dempsey. I'm at London Heathrow Airport, headed to Ibiza, Ibiza, as they say, and um, going for the Return to the Magic Islands retreat, a five-day event, although we have four days of extra field trips and possibly even an extra two days, so it's going to be actually more even up to 11 days total. Uh, wow, London Heathrow is quite... Quite active, quite active. So, um, yeah, what to talk about? I just had a few minutes to kill walking through the airport. I like traveling. I mean, I, I don't think I do sometimes, but then I do. Maybe it's that 2946. I get um, determined to, to be somewhere and I'm committed to be there. And I don't know. And, and then I have a little fifth line thing of like wanting to have something. Wanting to have like a hat. People are like, oh, nice hat. Or I got complimented on my belt earlier. It's um, let's see, belt. Kind of a cool belt. Yeah. So, a little bit of flair. I mean, I guess you could cynically say that's to distract from me. Uh, I had a really fun talk at HDHD 2023 with Singh, um, the human design heretic, and he talked about wearing jewelry and things to distract. Kind of, he got this idea from Ra, like Ra would always wear a hat with a slogan or something to distract from too much scrutiny of him, the person. So that's maybe that maybe slightly cynical slash practical application of it. But there's also this idea of wanting to give people something. Not that I'm like giving them like, I mean, okay, like I just have a, I have a hat, like not a big deal. That guy actually has a really cool jacket. He has an Acne Studios jacket. The guy's a duffel bag. That's stylish. But I mean, it is kind of like that. If you're wearing fashion, it's like you're actually giving someone something. You're like giving them like, wow, that person has an amazing necklace. Like that was like a gift from them. And actually, it reminds me of um, at HDHD this year when we had Chaitan Parkin. Maybe this will be my little topic here. And then I'll wrap up and make sure I'm ready, ready to board the plane. Um, giving people something giving people something in a small amount of time. What can you give them? You can give them a little feather in their cap. You can give them a little sound bite. Uh, there's the book, uh, Scholars and Sound Bites, the, or the, the essay, The Myth of Academic Difficulty by Gerald Graff. And uh, the author of They Say, the co-author of They Say, I Say, which is one of the classics of scholarly writing in the modern era. And so, Gerald Graff, The Myth of Academic Difficulty, Scholars and Sound Bites. It's this essay where basically he's saying we shouldn't be afraid of sound bites. We shouldn't be afraid of a quick little pattern that we give somebody. We shouldn't be afraid of a little condensed thing. I mean, isn't that all Ra gave us, really, was an incredible, the world's best sound bites, the world's best keynotes, the world's best compressed information, but then what are we doing when we're giving people readings? What are we doing? We're, we're giving them sound bites. And so I was so impressed at HDHD this year by Chaitan Parkin and his ability to formulate a little feather in the cap for somebody so that he would see somebody and look at their body graph and be able to give them something very, very quickly. In fact, um, just I was actually reminded of it yesterday. I had the pleasure of meeting Richard Rudd. And Richard Rudd um, was talking about his body graph, and if you've seen it, he's a wide split, and he has head ajna, and then he has the uh, defense circuitry. And Chaitan Parkin called it wings and horns. And I love that, wings and horns. I mean, that's so funny, right? But it's like you have that 59.6, 50.27, the wings, and then you have uh, the, you know, either side, 64.47 and uh, 63.4, the horns. And so it's just like that kind of thing, that kind of little sound bite is actually powerful, actually has value. It's not reductive. There are reductive sound bites, there are reductive stereotypes, there are, but then there's also condensed. And condensed is different than reductive because it maintains a certain archetypal resonance that can be reinflated, so to speak. So. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at my flight, see where I get, but um, yeah, don't be afraid of sound bites.